Hi, how are you? My name is Lily. I will check with you for Strong for Life class. What do you need for today's class? You need a child with you. Starting with your warm up first, your feet underneath your hips. Leave one foot distance in between. Once you are here again, your hands next to yourself. Lift your chest, lower shoulders down. From this position, slowly chin to your chest. Bend your both knees, ribcage into your spine. Slowly rolling yourself, chair all the way if you want to. Bend your knees. Bend your knees a little bit more until your hands touch you to the floor, then slowly coming back. Make sure to squeeze your glutes. So spinal roll, chair first. Slowly coming back, ribcage in, very slowly coming chair. Slowly coming back again. We've got the very last time. Keep your feet on the floor, chin to your chest. Bend your both knees, ribcage in, slowly coming chair. You're gonna go as long as you can, then start to here. Maybe your finger touch to your shoes, maybe touch to the floor. From this position, drop your head, slowly rolling yourself all the way to your right. Slowly rolling yourself all the way to your left. All the way to your right. All the way to your left. Once you are here on your left, slowly bend your both knees. At your left, slowly rise. All the way down to your right, around to the world. Coming up again. Slowly coming back again, one more each side. Slowly coming down to the same charm, then roll over. So for this exercise, we're gonna use a shower for this. Challenge for use a shower, you're gonna lock your shoulders, but make sure your core very tight. It's your spinal forward bend position and warm up. Both hands at each side of child. From this position, once you are here, very slowly chin to your chest. Try to pull the child away. From this position, slowly rolling to your right, all the way coming up. Left. Center. Then to your left, all the way coming up. Sancha, one on each side. From this position again, what we are going to do, sideway bend. Bring your feet a little bit wide apart, then lift your hands. Chest high, slowly coming down, squeeze your shoulder blades. Slowly roll change to your left. Slowly roll change to the center. Roll change to your left again, same side. Slowly coming back again, one more. From this position, make yourself a hip always to the front. Bend your knees. Hold here, then little pauses. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, hold. Four, three, two, one, center. Reset the other side. Left. Coming back, center. Gently squeeze your shoulder blades, in particular, leg shoulder blades. You want to still pull the child apart. One more. Hold. Little pauses again. Sink. Keep your hip facing the French. Knees in line with the toes. Pulse anchor. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, sink, four, three, two, one, slowly release. Body around right shoulders, then both the hands coming up, all the way, the other way around, rolling around the world. Top range first, once when you feel top range your shoulders, okay, then slowly bring the child chair all the way to your hip. All the way coming back, and then the other side, coming up, all the way coming back. One 
Once you are ready again, we are going to do a little bit bigger from the front all the way to your right. Go to the back, left. One more each side. From this position again, slowly release. Number one exercise after the warm up work, what we are going to do is squat. Normally, traditional squat, your feet outside of your hips, but today we're gonna do sumo squat. What are you gonna do? Again, your feet outside of your hips, wide apart. From this position, turn your chest down. Use your hands slowly coming down. We wanna open your hips first. Knees in line with the chest. It's called sumo squat. Then check your child and and that squeeze your shoulder blades. Slowly coming back. If you want to, a little bit wider apart every time eventually. The indication how wide you want to be, you want to keep your knee above your ankle. A little bit coming in. From this position, slowly coming down, open your knees. Slowly coming back, release and return. Slowly coming down, slowly coming back, release. Once when you find your knee position, feet position, child at the front. Slowly coming down, hold. Fire the parallel to the floor, release and return. Two. Keep your torso about stretch. Three. From the side, looking like here. Coming back again, four. Very gentle to your knees and try to open up your hips. So if you've got an injury, very easy on your knees. Six. Coming back again, seven. Eight. Three more times, chicken. Nine. One more. Jaw and hold. Chen. From this position, hands on chow. Pull the chow apart. Then try to lift your arms. Eight. Slowly coming back. Seven. Coming back. Six. Coming back again. Five. Four. Three. Three. Very last one, lift and hold, sink, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three, one, slowly coming to release. From this position, make sure yourself at the center, what we are going to do, sideways step, sumo squat, feet underneath of the hips, both of you are carried out, if you want to turn your chest out, that's fine, both hands at the front, squeeze your shoulders, pull your shoulders away, Lift first, arch, coming back to the other side, arch, the other side, chin, coming back, arms, nine, coming back, eight, coming back, seven, six, coming back again, five, four, three, two, very last nice one. Three pulses, return. Go. Three, two, one, release the other side. Three, two, one, coming back. Six, five, four, three, two. Very last nice one. Drop and hold, pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, release. If you feel yourself warmed up a little bit by the sumo squat, that's perfect. From this position, once right here again, what we are going to do, keep hinge lunge. It's a hybrid. Normally what do we do? Lunge, long lunge back, then bend your back and knees. A lot of people, they've got a knee injury, so same thought we use a hip hinge, but make sure your hips square. Your feet underneath your hips, leave one hand distance in between of your chest and heels. Slowly bend your back knees, keep your chest above your knee. Once you're ready again, we're gonna do hip hinge lunge. Slowly coming back. Find your range first. Keep your knee bent. Can be here, can be here. But make sure your chest above your knee. Coming back, going back, coming back. 
In other words, hip hinge, that's a J lift, single leg back step, dead lift. Coming back again. Six, if you want to use the chow, then hold on your hand. Four, three, two, very last one, throwing jian and hold, lift your arms. From this position, single leg squat, you're gonna strengthen your front knee. Jog, coming back, jog, coming back. A little bit range is fine, but if you can try to lock your arms. Six, five, four, three, two, very last one, jiu pen hold. Play around with your back foot. Lift, release, lift, release. Six, five, four, three, two, lift and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Swap over the other side. A little bit different, a little bit different to the traditional lunge. Working more on your glutes here. So find your range first. When you are ready again, bend your back knees, chest above your knees. One foot going back, coming back, going back again, coming back. Then use your arms again. Always lift your chest and squeeze your shoulder blades. Five, slowly coming back. Four, three, two. Very last one, coming up and hold. Squeeze your shoulder blades. From this position, once you are ready again, coming up, back, up, back. Four, three, two, one. Sencha hold, then play around with front knee, lift, release it from the sliding, coming back, sliding, coming back. Five, four, three, two, very last one, going back, hold, single, single leg turn, then bend your knee, chest above your knee, lift your back foot, anchor. Seven, six, five. Keep your hips square again, facing front. Three, two, lift and hold, bend, sink, up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly coming back. From this position, floating around in shoulders. What we are going to do? Hybrid to the school. Once right here, your feet wide apart, chain your chest out, your hands at the front. Do a test drive this just to check if your knees okay today. Slowly coming down and if your hips okay. Slowly coming back again. We did a sumo squat, now we are going to do low squat. Then we're gonna transition all the way to overhead squat. From this position, maybe your hands here. Every time squatting there, check your range. Knees bend uh, more than 90 degrees, as low as you can, slowly coming back. Options still above 90 degrees, but you want to work on the thoracic spine mobility. Slowly coming here, slowly coming back. Once when you find your range, maybe your hands at your chest. Very last one. Level two, overhead squat with child. All the way coming here. Coming back, releasing the chain. Try to pull your chair apart. Then bring your arms behind your ear. You can't see your elbows. That's the indication here. Five. Coming back. Four. Coming back. Three. Coming back again. Two. Very last one. Jog and hold. Behind the neck, press if you can. Jog. Up. Jump up five, four, three, two, one. Slowly coming back, release. Shake away your legs, body on one shoulders.
from this position again, what we've done, shoulders are big, upper body are big, then your legs are big, hips, glutes. What we are going to do now, it's your standing abs workout. Still hold your shower here, used to be long way, now getting a little bit shorter each end. Do a test drive first. Options, if your knees are okay, choose facing French. If your knees are not too good, maybe you want to change your choice out a bit. From this position, your hand, fingers do a test drive on your forearm. Elbows a little bit out and open your chest. Slowly try to open up. Lift your knees sideways from this position. When you are ready again, sideways crunch. Once when you find your range, your hips okay, balance is not too bad today, then start to lift your tower up. Maybe at the front, maybe over. Elbow to your knee, sideways. Elbow to your knee, sideways. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Very last one. Three pulses. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, release. Two more times. Three, two, one, release. Very last one. Coming back. Then swap over the other side. Now that you your feet, either here or use chow. At the front, lift, sideways, anchor. Chen. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, very last one, pauses three, five times, three, two, one, open, three, two, one, open, two, two more times, two Two, one, very last one. Chop and hold. Four, three, two, one, release. From this position again, what we are going to do? Abs workout standing, side away rotation, use your torso. Feet was here, now a little bit wide apart. Your heels underneath your hips. Leave about two hands distance. Slowly coming down again, bend your back knees, lift your chest high. You want to sit back like you are sitting on a chair. Imagine your back has got the chair behind you. So keep your upper body torso down straight. Other chest your feet, slowly coming down. Once you are ready again, slowly walk change to your right. Slowly coming back center, left. Slowly coming back center, right. Center, left, center, one more each side, right, left, hold, all the way up, the other one. Going back again. One more. Then swap over the other side. Right, coming up again. Right check in, make sure you still sink. Very last one. Center. From this position, find your range again. You want to bend your knees a little. What happened? What are you gonna do? Lift your knee high. Child will be here, there. Once you're ready again, close your hands. Keep your hands somewhere here. So as long as you lift your knee, child high, it's perfect. From this position, inhale with your X, holding. Right leg first, right, same leg, right, same leg, right, same leg, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, three pulses, three, two, one, release, three, two, one, release, three, 
shape. Very last one. Leave chain hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Swap over the other side. Okay. Rotate your arm a little so your knee easy to reach. Inhale, prepare, exhale. Outside for your knee, going back. Outside for your knee, going back. Five, four, three, two. Very last one. Three pulses. When's right here? Let go. Three, two, one. Three, two. One coming back. Three. Two. Very last one. One. Up and touch. Five. Four. Three. You will find the balance one side better than the other side. Slowly coming back. Body on your shoulders. Shake away your arms. Once you are ready again, what we are going to do? A little bit cardio work here. We'll be very gentle to your knees. Options with the chawa or without. If without chawa, just drop it in the gym. What happened? What we are going to do? Easy cardio work. We've got the end match here. You're gonna bend your knees. One's right here. Lift your chest. Walk. Try try a test drive. Walk all the way to the other side of the match. Keep your feet parallel. Find your range again, return trip. Once you're ready again, you can speed up. Keep your knees bent. Push your hips back, chest above your knees. Working on the front cords, working on the glutes. Once you're ready again, sit, go. Little hold. Very gentle to your knees. Six, five, four. Three, two, very last one. Once one here again, slowly coming back. Then check your range. We've got a mat. You want to hook a little bit forward, then back. Options you can always low squat here. First of all, first. Check the tower away. Then return to 45 degrees. 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45, drop, up, drop, return to back in, from this position, once right here again, you can speed up, single leg soldier hook to 45 degrees, return to Six more times. Five. Four. Always keep your knees in line with the chest and open your knees every time you do hold. Two more times. Very last one, return two. Once right here again, then we are my shoulders. What we are going to do? Slowly, we did a single leg, a little hook, side away, then front and back, 45 degrees. Get your heart rate up. Now we, can, we are going to get your heart rate up a little bit more. Double leg, score and hook. Both feet underneath of your hips. From this position, I turn myself around so you can see the side way. Slowly turn your knees out. Once right here again, you can now very slowly, gently jumping forward. Bear in your mind, pay attention to the sound of lunge. Sound of lunge, very quietly, very gently. Six, five, keep squeeze your glutes and lift your chest. Three, 
very last chain, very last one, front back end, stop. Slowly release your shoulders. From this position, rolling your right shoulders again. What we are going to do? Little bit stretch. One hand, shoulders cross over, stretch your way through. Lift your elbow high. Still bring your elbows in. You want to stretch your way through a little bit up back. Then a little bit triceps. Swap over the other side. Lift your arm again. Both hands at the front, cross your fingers. Lift your arms high. Close your hands behind. Shake away your arms first. Then start your legs stretch. When foot cross over, slowly bend your knee. You want to stretch your legs. Slowly coming back. Keep your heel on the floor. Then squeeze your glutes. Push your hip forward. Swap over the other side. Cross over. Sit back. Glutes a little bit on the thigh. Slowly coming back again. The other side. Slowly stepping again, rolling around your shoulders, shake away your neck, and give yourself a big clap. Thanks so much, guys.